Let us all stand. Begin our thanksgiving in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, we are on the first week of Advent. We continue to prepare ourselves for the coming of Jesus. Let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. We humbly say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Stir up your power, we pray, O Lord, and come, that with you to protect us, we may find rescue from the pressing dangers of our sins. And with you to set us free, we may be found worthy of salvation, who lives and reigns with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Our reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord God, But a very little while, and Lebanon shall be changed into an orchard, and the orchard be regarded as a forest. On that day, the deaf shall hear the words of a book, and out of gloom and darkness, the eyes of the blind shall see. The lowly will ever find joy in the Lord, and the poor rejoice in the Holy One of Israel. For the tyrant will be no more, and the arrogant will have gone. All who are alert to do evil will be cut off. Those whose mere word condemns a man, who ensnare his defender at the gate, and leave the just man with an empty claim. Therefore, thus says the Lord, the God of the house of Jacob, who redeemed Abraham, 
Now Jacob shall have nothing to be ashamed of, nor shall his face grow pale. When his children see the work of my hands in his needs, they shall keep my name holy. They shall reverence the Holy One of Jacob and be in awe of the God of Israel. Those who hear in spirit shall acquire understanding, and those who find fault shall receive instruction. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Whom should I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I may give His temple. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout hearted and wait for the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus passed by, two blind men followed him, crying out, Son of David, have pity on us. When he entered the house, the blind men approached him, and Jesus said to them, do you believe that I can do this? Yes, Lord, they said to him. Then he touched their eyes and said, Let it be done for you according to your faith. And their eyes were opened. Jesus warned them sternly, See that no one knows about this. But they went out and spread word of him through all that land. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, brothers and sisters. And good morning also to our brothers and sisters participating with us through our uh, live streaming. May the blessing of peace, healing, presence of Jesus be with all of you wherever you are. We also pray for those who are, uh, who are putting in the comment section so sa ating uh, Facebook page no, uh, of our live stream, their uh, personal intentions, nawa ay loobin ng Panginoon ang inyong mga kahilingan at panalangin. I especially remember uh, those who are sick who privately uh, message me and asking for prayers of healing. 
kami daming nagkakasakit. So many people now are sick. We are in the first week of the Advent season. And today, December 4, 21 days before Christmas. Today is the last first Friday of the month of the year 2020. The year 2020. Huling first Friday ng taon na ito. And uh, you know, many people really go to Mass every first Friday. You know, especially sa Kiapo ngayon. Kahit uh, kaunti lang yung nakakapasok sa loob, pero sigurado sa labas madami yon. And uh, you know, because uh, because of uh, the first Friday, you know, we have our devotion to uh, the most sacred heart of Jesus. The heart of Jesus that is always merciful and loving. And today, this last first Friday of the year 2020, we continue to knock at the heart of Jesus and beg Him and whisper to Him the longing and desires of our own hearts. Ngayon po sa huling first Friday ng taong 2020, sabay-sabay tayong kumatok sa mahabaging puso ni Jesus at ibulong natin ang ating mga kahilingan, ang ating mga panalangin. I am sure many of you have your personal intentions and prayers. I am sure many of you have your friends, relatives, or some other people who are asking for your prayers. Sama-sama natin ibulong yon sa mahal na puso ni Jesus. In, uh, in the Gospel, we have two blind men they have a very special desire. They have a very special prayer. A very special need. They want something. They have a request from Jesus. Kumakatok sila sa puso ni Jesus. But, did you notice how Jesus seems to have been slow? in answering the request of the two blind men for mercy. Is it not fascinating that Jesus makes them work at getting an answer? You see, if Jesus, if Jesus could feel the tiniest touch of a sick woman who reached out to touch his garment, then he surely would have heard the cry of these two blind men. Kung yun ngang humawak sa kanyang damit, naramdaman niya agad. Surely, for these two blind men, narinig naman niya siguro sila. And what's more, he clearly demonstrated that he knew what they wanted well in advance. Alam ng Panginoon ang gusto nila. Because when they come to him, Jesus did not say, What do you want me to do for you? Jesus did not ask them that question. What do you want me to do for you? That is what he asked from other blind people who came to him for healing. Yun ang sinasabi niya sa ibang bulag na pinagaling niya. What do you want me to do for you? But for these two, he instead said, do you believe that I am able to do this? Yun ang sinabi niya. Do you believe that I am able to do this? What's more, did you also notice 
that He makes them come out and say it. It is as if He forces them to stand before Him and say, Yes, Lord, we believe You can open our eyes. We believe You can give us our sight. We really do believe it. Look how hard we have worked to get to You. Look how we would not take no for an answer. It's because we really and truly believe that You are the Son of God. My dear brothers and sisters, let us reflect on this. Could it be that one reason we don't always see immediate answers to our prayers is because Jesus is seeking to draw out of us a clear testimony of our faith in Him. Could it be that He is making us work at it because He wants to get us to the point where we trust in nothing but Him? Could it be that we don't always get what we are asking for right away because we are not truly asking with the right kind of faith in Him yet? My dear brothers and sisters, perhaps you have a need Or, what need do you have today? How great is your need? I hope that now we know that the greatest of that need is not the real question. The real question is suggested in Jesus' words to the two blind men. According to your faith, let it be to you. So the real question today, my dear brothers and sisters, is how much faith do we have in Jesus? How much faith do you have in Jesus? According to that faith, let it be done to you. We now ask God the Father to open our eyes so that we may follow Him wholeheartedly. For every prayer we say, Lord, enlighten us. That the Church may be a credible witness to the Gospel and be a sure guide to peace and solidarity let us pray to the Lord. Lord, enlighten us. That those in government offices be men and women of principles and integrity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, enlighten us. That like the two blind men, we may have firm confidence in Jesus and follow him on the path of life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, enlighten us that those who are suffering from failing eyesight or blindness may overcome their difficulties and find total healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, enlighten us. That our brothers and sisters who are afflicted of COVID-19 
as well as those who are under monitoring and observation, be healed by the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, enlighten us. That the frontliners and the many faceless heroes who risk their lives to combat COVID-19 be protected and strengthened by our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, enlighten us. That our deceased relatives and friends, especially for the souls of Raul, Dorivic, Norma, Felito, Desdemona, Vicente, Charito, Francisco, Domingo, Lodimir, Sofronio, Lucille, Fidel, Atilano, Arnulfo, Leticia, Olga, Ricardo, Alfonso, Vitaliana, Diego, Karen, and all souls in purgatory may be granted perpetual light and eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, enlighten us. Healing and fast recovery of Alvin de Castro, Marinel de Lumpines, Robert Lawrence Watson, Peter Pavillar, Anna Hover, Elvi Badilio, Junel Mondano, Efren Hoyla, Norma Ambulo, Francis Ong. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, enlighten us. Special intentions of Elson and Vicky Cho, Sister Gorgonia SSS, Pabs and I. I. Mutia. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, enlighten us. Birthday Thanksgiving of Jim Delphine Onabia. In silence, we now offer our personal and family's intentions. Father in heaven, fill us with your love and dispel the darkness from our lives so that we may work in the light of Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings. And since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like a dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Romulo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth, earth as it is, is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day, day our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. us and, and lead us not, not into temptation, temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring it to our life as we receive it. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring us in judgment and condemnation. Your loving mercy be for me, protection in mind and body. And Brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
gives Israel that mourns in lonely exile here until the Son of God appear. Rejoice, rejoice, O Israel, to thee shall come Emmanuel. O come, thou wisdom from on high, and order all things far and nigh. To us the path of knowledge show, and teach us in her ways to go. Rejoice, rejoice, O Israel, to thee shall come Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please kneel for the Oracho Imperata on COVID-19. All together, God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has claimed lives and has affected many. We pray for your grace for the people tasked with studying the nature and cause of this virus and its disease and of stemming the tide of its transmission. Guide the hands and minds of medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion, and of those governments and private agencies that must find cure and solution to this pandemic. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. We also pray for all who died because of this disease. Grant us the grace to work for the good of all and to help those in need. Grant this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Mary, help of all Christians. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. Saint Roth. Pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsud. Pray for us. Please stand.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Please kneel for the exposition of the Blessed Sacrament. Let us now begin our morning prayer. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine. All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Blessed be the holy and immaculate conception of the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God. Prayer to Our Lady of the Blessed Sacrament. Blessed are you, Mary, exalted daughter of Zion. You are highly favored and full of grace, for the Spirit of God descended upon you. We magnify the Lord and rejoice with you. For the gift of the Word made flesh, our bread of life and cup of joy, Our Lady of the Blessed Sacrament, our model of prayer in the Senechel, pray for us that we may become what we receive, the body of Christ, your Son. Amen. Our Lady of the Blessed Sacrament, pray for us. Prayer in honor of St. Joseph. O Lord, may the merits of the spouse of your most holy mother assist us, so that what we cannot obtain through our own efforts, 
we may have true intercession, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Prayer in honor of Saint Peter Julian A. Mart. Gracious God of our ancestors, you led Peter Julian A. Mart like Jacob in times past on a journey of faith. Under the guidance of your gentle spirit, Peter Julian discovered the gift of love in the Eucharist, which your Son Jesus offered for the hungers of humanity. Grant that we may celebrate this mystery worthily, adore it profoundly, and proclaim it prophetically for your greater glory. Amen. St. Peter Julian Amar, the Apostle of the Eucharist, pray for us. Prayer for the cause of Venerable Father Ludovico Longari. O Lord, you have called the Venerable Father Ludovico Longari to be a fervent adorer and passionate apostle of the Eucharist. Grant that your glory be manifested in him, and by the same grace, through his intercession, we invoke with confidence, O Mary, so honored by Father Ludovico as Immaculate, to stain our prayer. Venerable Father Ludovico Longri, intercede for us. Our hymn will be flashed on the screen. Maranatha. God, come to my assistance. The Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. The bread we eat is promised. 
page 759 of the booklets. 760 for the first antiphon. Lord, you will accept the true sacrifice offered on your altar. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness, in your compassion, blood of my offense. Oh, watch me more and more from my guilt and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done? That you may be justified when you give sentence and be without reproach when you judge. For sin give I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart. Then in the secret of my heart, teach me wisdom. Oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. Oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face And blot out all my guilt A pure heart great for me, O God Put a steadfast spirit within me Do not cast me away from your presence Nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit Give me again the joy of your help, with a spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, weren't offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice a contrite spirit, a humble contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion, rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocaust offered on your altar. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Some prayer. Father, he who knew no sin was made sin for us, to save us and restore us to your friendship. Look upon our contrite heart and afflicted spirit and heal our troubled conscience so that in the joy and strength of the Holy Spirit, we may proclaim your praise and glory before all the nations. All the descendants of Israel will glory in the Lord's keep of victory. With you, God is hidden, the God of Israel, the Savior. Those are put to shame and disgrace, who 
vent their anger against me. Those who in disgrace, who carved me with jest. Israel, you're saved by the Lord, saved forever. You shall never be put to shame or disgrace in future ages. For thus says the Lord, the creator of the heavens, who is God, the designer and maker of the earth, who established it, not creating it to be a waste, but designing it to be living. I am the Lord and there is no other. I have not spoken from hiding, nor from some dark place of the earth. And I have not said to the descendants of Jacob, Look for me in an empty waste. I, the Lord, promise justice. I foretell what is right. Come and assemble, gather together. You fugitives sprung among the Gentiles. They are without knowledge who were good and idols. And pray to God that cannot save. Come here and declare in council together. Who announced this from the beginning and foretold it from of old? Was it not I, the Lord, besides whom there is no other God? There is no just and saving God but me. Turn to me and be saved, all you ends of the earth, for I am God, there is no other. By myself I swear, uttering my just decree, and my unalterable word. Every tongue shall swear, saying only in the Lord our trust deeds and power. Before him in shame shall come all who bend their anger against him. In the Lord shall be the vindication and the glory of all the descendants of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Let us go in God's presence, singing for joy. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him singing for joy. Know that He the Lord is made us we belong to him we are his people the sheep of his flock go within his gates given thanks enter his courts with songs of praise give thanks to him and bless his name indeed how good is the lord eternal is merciful love is faithful from age to age. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. 
song prayer. With joy and gladness, we cry out to you, Lord, and as you open our hearts to sing your praises and announce your goodness and truth. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, His leader shall be from Jacob, and his ruler shall come. He shall approach me. You shall be my people, and I will be your God. Son, God the Father, revealed His glory to men and women. Therefore, let our joyful cry resound, and we will pray, Lord, may Your name be glorified. Lord, may Your name be glorified. 
Teach us, Lord, to love each other as Christ loved us for God's glory, we pray. Lord, may your name be glorified. Fill us with all joy and peace in faith that we may walk in the hope and strength of the Holy Spirit, we pray. Lord, may your name be glorified. Help all humankind, Lord, in your loving mercy. Be near to those who seek you without knowing it, we pray. Lord, may your name be glorified. You call and sanctify the elect. Though we are sinners, crown us with eternal happiness, we pray. Lord, may your name be glorified. In silence, let us now include our personal prayers and intentions. Gathering all our prayers and praises into one, especially those which we have kept in our hearts, let us now lift up to the Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Jesus, our Lord, save us from our sins. Come, protect us from all dangers, and lead us to salvation. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Please kneel for the blessing. Our morning prayer has been offered. Let us bless the Lord. And give Him thanks.